How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Waffle Rally, guys, and I'm probably going to be posting this video after my live stream, so if you're watching this, hello from the stream. Um, what's good? Thank you so much for being in the stream, I guess. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing this video because a few things have popped up that I think are worthwhile covering that I think you guys will enjoy, uh, if I may say so myself. Uh, you guys will enjoy these things. And of course, as you guys know, we got the announcement today, guys, that we're getting a brand new trailer tomorrow for Pokemon Sword and Shield. But joining me for this video today, guys, for some of these extra things we're going to take a look at, is none other than my boy, Mudkip Mamo. Say hello to the people, my good sir. Hello guys, my name is Mudkip Mamo. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. They sure are, my dude. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> today we are going to be taking a look at nothing other than else than a freaking Game Informer article. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, basically Game Informer was at Game Freak's offices. They of course did the already the interviews and stuff, but now we actually get to see some game development footage from this stuff, as well as a few rumor images we're gonna take a look at. So it's a bit of a mixture of things we're gonna take a look at for this video today, guys. So let's get started with the first things here. So shout out to Poke Exposure for posting these things, by the way, like getting them all kind of like, you know, organized into single pictures and all that sort of stuff. But let's take a look at what they actually have here. So first things first, here are some of the new images of Galar cities in the view of the game's editor. So this is inside of like, I guess, I can't really tell which like program this is. I think it's Maya because I see the M right there. Uh, like, so I assume this is Maya right here they're using or like, let me see if it's like, I think the new Maya logo should be, yeah, that's the new Maya logo, I thought so. Uh, so if you don't know what this is, basically this is the uh, like 3D making software that they use. It's pretty st standard within like, you know, the game development world to be using these. And also what we're seeing here is the kind of like, uh, the kind of middle town, the very like rustic looking one. Um, like the kind of, like everything's kind of made out of bronze or like brick. Um, that's the one we're looking at right here, or like copper rather than bronze, why would it be bronze? But, yeah, that was yeah. This, the town where the starter evolution, well the starters were first revealed. In the exactly. First ever. Yeah, like on this yeah. sort of wheel, you saw like Score Bunny run, right? You know, and, like exactly. left us like footmarks and stuff. Uh, but yeah, exactly. so we can see a few things here. Like uh, we can see all the groups and stuff that they've grouped in all the, you know, individual items that are in this stuff. Um, and uh, what's kind of funny is it's like what I expected is already here, dude, which is like you can see the white void over here and all this stuff. And like <laughs> with these like areas where it's just like it's just open space. And the reason that's yeah. there, that's why we don't have open world, like free, like not open world, but that's why we don't have free roaming cameras or like. Like, you know, third person rotatable cameras in these areas because what they do is they don't actually make the full map. They only make the areas that you can see from your position. Uh, and this is just a, a development uh, cost reducing thing you do uh, that Game Freak does um, because it just takes up less time and it's less, you know, effort because you don't have to make a full fledged world that can be explored, but rather just a specific thing that you want to show the player, uh, which hides all the nitty gritty in the back that's really there. So it's kind of interesting, but I don't know. I, I mean, you know, it's just Pokemon's always like, so it's nothing really to complain about there. Uh, but those are some of the first images. Then we have actually a few other images here. We can see the town from that, above. That looks good. Yeah, that this looks, looks really good. Like, I'm going to be honest. really good. I'm liking this, man. I'm really like, Bro, I really like the UK this, aesthetic, bro. you know? Like, it's really I'm good. This. So, um, where were we, right? So, yeah, here we can see more of this stuff. Of course, you know, not all these things will be like, you know, uh, like not all this stuff is going to be visible exactly like this, but, you know, at least we get to see the town. But I'm really wondering, is the town going to be this small, kind of, though? Like, in this, like, because it looks very small here, right? If this is all of it, right? Looks very smallish, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but I'm assuming it's going to be larger, maybe? I mean, we'll have to wait and see, right? Because it looks way bigger in the in the image, like, you know, in the map. It looks way, way larger. But yeah. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, we'll see when we play it. But it looks like it's slightly smaller than, you know, I expect it to be. Um, but then, of course, here we also get to see a few other parts of it. Like the uh, train station, you can see right here. Here's the train station. Uh, there's, like, a little, like, container thing over here. And, of course, up here you can run. So, yeah, no, it's going to be pretty large, I would say. Like, I mean, not large, large, but it's going to be decently sized. And here's actually our first good look at the gym. So this is going to be the gym for the city. Uh, as you can see, the gym gym logo is there. The gym entrance it looks really can cool. You see actually, the typing? can you see the typing on the map down there? Um, fire or I ground? I think it's that fire. Was I think it's fire, actually. Yeah, I, I think, think so it might be well, fire. Actually. Yeah, because the shape on it looks kind of like I want to say the team team o, like you know, like almost like the, like the Omega sign. You know what I mean? From like exactly. Omega movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It, it kind of has that style to it. I might be I might be wrong, but that's kind of the feeling I get when I look at. It. I don't know. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that this one was very interesting. So what is this actually? I don't even know what this thing is. To be honest, James Turner actually talked about this, and he said, you know, from the De Detective Pikachu movie, uh, they actually put these well these poles there so they could put Pokemon and they could play jump around on them. And then James Turner took a look at it and he said, wow, I like this a lot, so I will actually put this in the game myself. So this is actually just something that Pokemon can play on, jump on, jump off, and stuff like that. Oh, and he liked it. He liked it I mean, so much. From the movie, it, so it, that's it's weird it, though, it in a weird way. 
Because like, wouldn't you add more extra things like, you know, like weird like things in the, in the you know, like ropes and like other things, you know, like if it's meant to be like a thing like they play on like children, you know, in a, in a, in a park yeah. or whatever, like wouldn't you have more than just those? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't guess, know. Yeah, yeah, it's a little yeah, bit yeah, odd. It's it's a little bit odd. I will say little, just a little bit, but still, it's it's cool in a way. Yeah. Uh, also, here we get to see this. Like we saw this earlier, but this somebody else just posted this just as a comparison is what it looks like when they're editing it versus what mm -hmm. it looks like in the game. And you can see, of course, here all the filters are running and all that stuff. You know, all the actual stuff that's you know makes the game look the way it does is already running here. Well, whilst when you're editing it, you know, none of the the filters, none of the you know the the rays and stuff are like exactly there like they will be in the engine once you run it, right? Like none of the particles from the engine are running or the shadows or any of that. But you can see all that running and man, it looks good though. I gotta say, yeah, like, it looks good. Like, and I don't know, man. It looks what do you really think? good. And you talked about the uh, uh, the thing about, oh, it looks pretty small. We Now, when I look at this, I actually realize that this is a, a part, and then the gym thing is one part. Yeah, and then yeah the it's, pre it's pretty big now. Yeah, I thought it's, initially, it's I apologize for like my assumption there, but it felt like when you look at it from above, it felt way smaller, right? But when mm -hmm. you look at it like this, right, when you see how small you are versus everything else, right, it's going to be a pretty big city, honestly. Because I, yeah. I forgot about the upper part we can run. Then also like mm -hmm. the train station, the little area with the with the like container, the elevator to the, the, the you know, to the um, like gym, gym area. Like, man, it's going to be pretty big, honestly. It's, it's going to be, be pretty, pretty large. Big. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we've gone through those. Here we get to see one of those from a few more of those images. Here is the road I was talking about, right? This one, like, so yeah, here's the Pokemon Center. A few other things as well as some of the companies and stuff that are going to be in the you know game, um, like the Poke Jobs. So I mean, I don't know, dude. It's going to be pretty huge. It's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of space. I really thought it was yeah. smaller, like from like like from this position, right? It feels smaller, but I guess when you're in there, it's way larger. Also, I feel like we have two Pokemon Centers here. Look at this, right? There's one up here, right there, and there's one down here. You know? Oh, yeah, that's That's true. interesting. Like, two centers in, in one city. That is... Hmm, that's that's it, strange. It has to be big if there is two Pokemon centers. Oh, there, for right? sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, all right. So, and also, there's probably stuff they haven't shown us. Who knows? Uh, but here oh, we have get to see, like, a few other things as well, by the way. Um, sorry mm -hmm. for interrupting, by the way. Uh, but here we're going to no. see some of the effects, rather, or, like, the personal custom character customization effects with varied expressions. So, you can see, like, that you can have, like, different expressions for them, which I do like. And it seems like you can unlock them. Like, it says new down here. So, I, I oh, assume new means... I love that. I love that. I love that. It's going to be great. Like, you're going to be able to unlock them and stuff. Uh, here you get, like, positions... I, I mean, this one is... Oh, boy. Yeah, that, that's the one I'm choosing. That's the one uh, I'm choosing. I'm going for this one. Like, the thug life. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like like I'm, uh, like I'm a bodyguard, you know, like some shit. You know what I mean? I or, like, you, I or like a bouncer. <laughs> but I um, love this because there's always things you can strive for. Things you can exactly. always grind for. Exactly. And that, just small things like this make such a huge difference. Yeah, because these small such customization things make it feel, like, more personal, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to say, man, but, like, this is cool. So you can change the frame as well. You got different, like, frame thingy, bajingies here, like, the little, like, frame parts. Then the backgrounds, as well as effects and stuff. So there's a bunch of stuff here. You can see, like, what it looks like when she does that position that you wanted. Yeah. That, and there yeah. it is. Um, and then you can do, like, also, like, there's something like clear coding and then matte coding. Uh, matte uh, coding. Uh, which is interesting like you can basically change like what it looks like so it's like maybe like it's a you know like almost like a foil you know what I mean like mm -hmm. like like uh, you know uh, like those uh, you know Pokemon cards you know when they're like you know, cards, like hollow yeah. hollow and stuff you know um, yeah. so yeah like that's what it's meant to be I guess I don't know it's it's, it's interesting though I must say uh, here we also get to see like a bit of the development stuff here um, like Game Informer, even though they're not dropping so much new information, I still look at every single video they put out because they are so interesting. Yeah, so this is interesting. I mean, I like seeing the kind of like the, the nitty gritty of like the development parts because it's like I love kind of 3D and stuff, and like I kind of wanted always to study like 3D graphics and not like gaming mm -hmm. game programming. So this is interesting to look into. Yeah, no doubt. No and here he explains the thing you mentioned. Yep. And he said, That's such a good idea. It's making it in the game. Interesting. Two way street. This is a one-way street. Um, it's a new town. They all have like different shops in the town. So like if you saw the old Pokemon Direct, you can customize. Hmm, I wonder what kind of shop that is. Probably like a bigger one, you know, like a like a like a shopping, like you know, uh, like a mall. You know, we have like we tend to have malls in them. So some of yeah. that. Uh, here they go through uh, <laughs> some of the customization, which. And for like the NPCs, at least it has like. I mean, it's great. Honestly, it's great. I, I've got to say, it is great. So, yeah, um, I'm not sure if there's really much else to say about that. So, let's jump to the next thing, I guess, uh, which is going to be this thing right here. So, uh, this was post sent to me by Jacob uh, Moravka on uh, Twitter saying, what do you think about this? And I'm going to be honest, this is most likely fake. Uh, the design is, it just doesn't look like a Game Freak design. Uh, the proportions are a little bit off. Like, the feet are way too small. Um, 
Like, I know that that's kind of the point of this design, but like, I just, I don't, I ain't feeling, man. I can see how this maybe is meant to be like, it's maybe meant to hit its like shoulders, right? To like generate music to its ears or something. Uh, but I, I would honestly say, guys, as for this, I will say it's fake. I mean, remember, what do you think, man, honestly? Nah, dude, like, it looks like he has wooden beats by Dre, like. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true, though. No. And one um, more thing, like the, the the green with the almost navy blue with the yellow with the red, red too yeah. much color, too much it, color. Too many it, things, like design-wise, it doesn't, it isn't a Game Freak design, it's, so. It's not appealing, it's not appealing. Yeah, no, it's just not a great Game Freak design in general, you know, it just doesn't fit yep. well. Uh, but yeah, so that's that one. Uh, next thing, I guess, is, oh, the final thing we're going to cover. So this image popped up yesterday on the Pokemon Japan, and people have been looking at this thing, part of it, right? So this right here, this was sent to, actually, this was one of my viewers who discovered this. Uh, and basically what people have noticed is this looks like a quillfish, right? Uh, which, yeah, it, it, which is what it that, is. Yeah. It is a quillfish. Uh, and people are thinking, oh, is this going to be a Galarian quillfish that's going to be like a brand new typing? Because if you actually look at a quillfish itself, right, uh, if we open up an image here, here. So this is Quillfish right there, and this is this thing. So it's definitely a Quillfish, what the design here. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is meant to be a brand new uh, Galarian form. I think this is meant to just be like a funny little like, you know, mascot thingy uh, well, I'm not really sure what to call it, but like, because if you look right here in the other corner on this image, there's also like a vanilla or whatever, uh, which has like a, like a pink bow tie behind it, you know what I mean, and whatnot. I think the reason why it looks like this is because it's probably gonna be on some sort of merch or something like that. And it's probably meant to be like, you know, like a metal, like, you know, like a metal um, quillfish or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, look at the background here. They're all like playing guitars. It's a band, right? It's a concert. It's rock and roll, right? So maybe that's what it's meant to be. It's meant to be like a metal, you know, quillfish. Now, could it be a Galarian form? I mean, <laughs> sure, dude, I don't know. I personally don't think so. It does seem to have like poison dripping off of it here and whatnot. But I don't know. I mean, Memo, like, what are your general, general, general opinions on this? Like, as I, as I, uh, as you said, actually, uh, I just think it's something like it fits in with the merch, and it's perfectly as metal thing. They just did quillfish, put some metal on it. Even though it would c look cool as a Galarian form, I don't think it's a Galarian form personally. Like you, no, you either. pretty much, pretty much debunked it in your own words, words really. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so that was that, and the final thing is uh, right here. So this is an image from the um, the code, like the code ver version cards for like the code game cards. Oh, the download. Code uh, yeah, the cards. Gal download code cards, right, for Pokemon yeah. Sword and Shield. Uh, and this is from Pokemon, I think, uh, Shield. Yeah, that was from um, Shield. Yeah. And it's like this weird like shape down here. People keep thinking maybe it's like a Magnemite or maybe it's some like other Pokemon. Uh, I can't really tell. I'm not really sure. I don't Bro, really want to go further into it. To yeah, it's, it's kind of hard like, to I'm tell, but... I'm squinting my eyes as much as I can. Like, it's, I, I don't know, man. It looks circular. That's all I know. But yeah, so ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below as per usual. Make sure to check out Memo's channel as well. And uh, I think, I mean, I'm assuming that I'm going to post this after the stream. So if I was only streaming, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow in my stream because we're going to be live streaming the trailer. We're going to be streaming before the trailer drops and when the trailer drops and after the trailer drops. We'll be live streaming all of that together for about five, six hours. We'll see how long we go, but we'll be live tomorrow. So make sure to join us tomorrow, guys. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure to check out Memo's channel as well as subscribe. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Nice to rough out. Have a great day. And bye bye, ladies and gentlemen.